Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna look at some super powerful vlogging tools that you can pick up for under $200. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Gold Coast Camera Hire. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna look at three key areas when it comes to gear. We're gonna look at ways that you can stabilize your image. We're gonna talk about lighting, and we're gonna look at some sound solutions. These solutions are all designed for mobile phone vloggers. So if you're shooting on an iPhone or an Android phone, this video is designed for you. The first tool I wanna to share with you is this one. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile. This will take out all of the bumps and shakes and tumbles of your mobile phone shooting. So I'm gonna chuck a phone on it so that we can have a look at what it does. Uh, get in there. Alrighty, so there we have it. We have a phone mounted in our gimbal and as you can see, that's keeping the horizon nice and level. We have a thumbstick here so that we can pan and tilt and adjust the angle of the phone. We have a mode button so we can switch between different modes. One mode will lock uh, onto a subject so that it won't pan or tilt with you. Another mode will follow you, and if you want to center this up again, you can double tap the mode button and it will return the camera facing forward. That is really, really cool. Also, if you're using the DJI app, you have a record button here as well. Another cool thing about this particular little gimbal is it has a quarter 20 tripod screw on the bottom. So you can whack this onto a mini tripod. So you can screw that into the bottom here. You can also pick up one of these handles as well. So you can mount a light or a microphone or other accessories onto this as well. So this is a really handy little accessory to go with this gimbal. Here today we have the Osmo Mobile 2, but since picking this up, they also have released the Osmo Mobile 3 and the newly renamed OM4, which has a host of new features and new functions. So go and check that one out. The second vlogging tool that I absolutely love for under $200 is one of these, a phone mount. It's all made out of metal and this particular one uh, is by a brand called Lanzi. It has a quarter 20 tripod screw on the bottom. It has a cold shoe mount on the top, so you can mount lights, you can mount other microphones or other accessories just like that. And because of how it's built, it has this locking screw here. You know that once you screw that into place, that phone is not going anywhere. It's not a spring mount like a lot of the other phone mounts out there. This thing is rock solid and it's not very expensive either. Speaking of tripods, there are two inexpensive tripods that you can look at if you're shooting on an iPhone. The first is a Gorillapod. Now Gorillapods are those bendy mini tripods that you can set up pretty much anywhere. You can put them on a desk, you can rig them up so they're attached to a railing or a tree or pretty much anything because of those bendy legs. So have a look at those. There are different grades for different weights, but if you're just using a phone, you can pretty much get away with the lightest, cheapest option. The other thing you can look at is SwitchPod, which is similar to the Gorillapod in a lot of ways, but instead of having those flexible legs, it's solid aluminium and it has three legs that you can flip out from a tripod mode or condense them into a handle so you can instantly go from vlogging mode to tabletop tripod mode in a split second. So that is a really, really cool tool that you can check out. All right, now onto lighting. There's two lights that I wanna share with you today. This is the Aperture F7 and this is my personal favorite little light. It's super powerful. It takes Sony NPF batteries. So you can pick one of these batteries up for about 30 bucks, slot it onto the back like that. And it's got a little on off switch on the side. So as you can see, pretty bright little light. You can fully adjust and dim down the brightness all the way from 0% all the way up to 100. And it's also what's called a bicolor light. So if you're in indoor warm tungsten lights, like we are in the studio here, you can set it for that, but with a click of a button, you can change your color temperature. So super powerful, super bright, comes with a bunch of little diffusion panels here that you can put on to soften the light. So I love this light. It's my favorite small LED panel. The next light on the list is the Godox SL60W, and that is a supercharged studio light. 
So it has a really, really high output, but a really low price tag. So if you have a home studio set up for your vlogs, it is perfect for that. Runs on AC power and it has a Bowens mount. So you can add a whole bunch of inexpensive modifiers and adapters to control the light in different ways. So check that one out. Now onto sound. Now I wanna start off with the Rode SmartLav Plus. This is a really cool little microphone for vlogging with your mobile. This is a lavalier microphone, much like the one I'm wearing at the moment. It is a TRRS adapter, so it is designed to work with mobile phones and you can tell straight away because it has the three lines on the 3.5 mil plug. Now obviously if you have a newer iPhone, you are going to need the 3.5 mil adapter to plug that bad boy in. And it's a really good quality microphone coming in at only about $80, $90. Now, if you're vlogging in a setup like this where the camera's a little bit far away, you can also add into the mix the Rode SC1 extension cable. So you can run a microphone all the way back to a camera up to six meters away. And that's a very, very inexpensive way to get really high quality audio. Well, there you go, guys. They are my top vlogging tools for under $200 when you're vlogging with a mobile. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get a discussion going. So what tools have you discovered that are really powerful and yet inexpensive? Leave a comment below, let's start the discussion. Sharing this information with each other only helps us to produce better content and that is what we all want at the end of the day. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.